So I did get a large uh, annihilator. I haven't been getting coffee, a lot of coffee lately because I've been trying to cut on, you know, just coffee and sugar and just making coffee at home, you know. Yeah, it's good. I like it. it tastes good. I like the mic so far. Uh, I just gotta hear how it sounds, but I like how it has the, the volume so we can tr control it. And yeah, it comes with a bunch of uh, accessories as well. So it's come with the dongle for your phone as well as a dongle for the USB-C. Going back to work, uh, Probably edit some videos. It's not too busy today. Maybe I gotta go well, but mm, yeah, let's get some things done. Man, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to ask for light eyes. All right, autumn for today. Gonna go home early, um, get ready, and uh, probably grab dinner, and then go to the movies after. Yo, what up, guys? So we're making it back home um, right now. So I probably gotta go to Costco with my sister, get some stuff. Uh, oh yeah, I gotta start my meal prep soon, so maybe I'll, I'll get some stuff for that. Uh, I don't know what I want to make yet, but uh, yeah. oh, I can I can start making some cooking videos as well. So you know that'd be fun. Um, yeah, just taking Genevieve out of potty right now. She's went potty. She need to go poo though, but probably gonna take her out again when I come back and uh, take give her a bath today. She's kind of stanky, so. Alright, just got back from Costco. Got some brown turkey and some chicken thighs ready for a new prep. Just come back from the movie. It's like 2 a.m. right now, but a little bit tired. Drove off my girlfriend and drove home. Anyways, movie was great. Very emotional. Almost shed a tear, but. You know, no more to the cry. No more to love to cry. Boom. It's in the morning right now. Probably gonna walk Genevieve for a little bit and then do my meal prep. It's a new day. Let's see, it's 9.30 right now. So I'm just gonna go for a little bit of a walk. I have hella allergies right now, so I have to... So maybe I should go take some allergy pills or something. Because it was killing me yesterday, golly. All right, guys, gonna start my meal prep right now. Um, first, I'm gonna prep some chicken thighs. Chicken thighs. So, I got these thighs right here. I'm gonna de skin it. Cut up the fat. So, usually you can just pour it out most of the time. Uh, just by the end, you gotta cut it off the skin. Put all these extra fat. And that's pretty much it. If you don't want the bone, you can cut it out as well, but that's too much work for me, so I'm not gonna do that. So same thing for this one, you gotta find the one that has a little bit of a, an opening. And you just gotta pull it out. It's simple. Just gotta repeat that motion. Find that opening. Some of them doesn't have an opening, but you know. Not most of them do, so just got the opening. So, cut. Oh, what we do for the marination is gonna be some fish sauce, some oyster sauce, soy sauce, got some lemongrass, a, a medium red onion, garlic, and sesame oil. And then I'm gonna marinate the chicken. Uh, just gonna measure, just gonna measure with my heart, you know. A little bit of soy sauce, fish sauce, and oyster, a little bit of sesame oil. Now I'm gonna add sugar and lemongrass. This is the main ingredients right here. Give it a little mix. I'm gonna add the onions and the garlic. I'm gonna let it marinate for around 30 minutes. All right, y'all, just got the grill ready right now. Gonna put on chicken, cook it until it's golden brown and gonna cut it after, two small pieces. I finished cooking the first batch now. Just gonna cut it in small smaller pieces and then store it in a container. So whenever I wanna eat it, I just take out the amount that I want and then I'll just add sauce on it or you know, some seasoning if I want to. I think it's better that way than uh, meal prepping. So just cut it in smaller pieces and leave the bone in. When you wanna eat it, just you know, just uh, microwave it, air fry it, and then stir fry it and then add it. So now I'm gonna do the turkey. This is the one in Costco as well. Manny, grade seven, cook it up. All right, so I'm just gonna play some basketball. Just a 
I'll shoot around for a little bit and uh, go to the gym after. All right, so, is it on? What workout are you doing right now, Max? Right now we are doing some chest flies. Um, right, currently we're at the uh, 12, and a half, 12 and a half pound capacity. We're going uh, doing a PR right now. Okay. Some heavy weight. Ooh, look at that bicep, bro. Damn. Oh my god! Ah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> it, it. What do you think about each of us starting our own YouTube channel, huh? I think it will bring out a lot of our personalities. We all have our individual characteristics. So if we each have our own, we will all blow up at the same time. Ooh. What about you? What about you, Chua? What do you think? I think it's a great way for us to explore our uh, creativity. Because each, each uh, of us have, uh, you know, great, great mind and very creative. So it would be uh, very strong, uh, you know, on the video that we post and stuff. Yeah. Thank you. Hi, Carl. What are you thinking about uh, creating your own content? Maybe in the future. Why not? Because I'm hella weak right now. Why not now? Because I'm trying to get stronger and more lean. I try to look more aesthetic, okay? I thought you trying to vote. I mean, for like the next month, probably like one more month and I'll probably cut down because summer is on the way, you know? Thank you for your time. So summer on the way, Moscow. All right, guys, it's a new day. Did an interview earlier. It was, uh, it was all right. And I went to thrifting after. Got some t-shirts, I'll show it later. And uh, yeah, probably gonna head to another thrift store and we'll see what we're gonna do today. Nothing in this one as well. I mean, nothing in this one. Again, as expected. This one always so busy, man. I don't know why people just be, pull up there every single day, man. Like when you walk in and you saw three drift bros, then just go home. No, there's nothing. There's nothing left for you. So just, just go home. Just got some uh, coffee milk tea from Tia <laughs> Probably gonna hit a couple good wheels right now. See what we gonna get. Yeah, gonna hit the softball game. My uh, my girlfriend's sister's uh, softball game today. Later. So yeah, it'll be fun. Alright guys, just got, got back from the game, from the baseball game, I mean the softball game right now. And uh, you know, our team won. And currently at five wings right now is what we got. Yeah, we got that peanut butter, lemon pepper, and uh, Saigon Street, signature Saigon Street, some rice. Man, when it's 1.30 a.m. and you're comfortable in your bed, you're sleepy, you're tired, uh, but you got work to do, you gotta get up and finish that thing, man. All right, how's it going, guys? Um, it is currently what, 2 a.m. right now. <laughs> so tired. Very long day today. But so yeah, I just want to talk about mics that I bought in these couple days. So the first one I bought was this one. Um, actually, this one is pretty good. I like this one a lot. Um, so it has a receiver and juice transmitter. You know, um, pretty common for the ones that is sold on Amazon and I bought this one and I bought another one which had come in a case uh, pretty nice it's a little bit more expensive I don't really like that one so I'm returning that one but then I also bought another one for this one you can just plug it directly to your phone with this uh, adapter it's automatically connect to the mics right here the nice thing is you can also charge your phone while you had it plugged in as well as hear your audio while you have you know, well you have it plugged in as well. So I'm thinking of keeping this one and these ones. Man, that was seven minutes of me talking. That's crazy. So yeah, I've been looking for websites or software that does auto captioning. And I tried a few on my computer. Most of them require subscription, of course, which is fine, you know. Yeah, so I've been using Veet.io um, for a few of my shorts before and then I'm on a free plan, so I only have a maybe like 30 minutes, which, you know, which is, if you think about it, it's a lot because that's like 30 videos right there because usually a short is one minute, you know, so that's 30 shorts and 
I'm, you know, mostly using it for shorts. It's been helpful, but I was looking for a alternative one that I can use, stick to it, and not worry about the subscription. I mean, not worry about switching to a, a different software. So, so just trying to get used to the software and everything, the features. So I was looking for a few websites like that. I figured out that on the phone, they do have an app that does that for free. And I just I found it out today. That's so crazy because I spent like a few hours trying new websites and thinking about which one I need to get because, you know, I don't want to spend like $30 on a website or on a software that I don't use that much, you know, or I just use one feature of it and, you know, it's not worth it to spend like $30 a month on just one feature that I can get for free or less. All these AI stuff are going crazy. There's just a lot of things that you can take advantage of to make your life a little bit easier with all of these, you know, artificial intelligence stuff. So make sure you do your research and use, uh, you know, things that can help you with your everyday work, your, your hobbies and yeah, and your passion. So use that to your advantage before it can take advantage of you. <laughs> So Monday I had a Monday. Oh no, yesterday was Monday. So Monday I meal prep. I went to the gym at, at night at seven with my friends. Uh, we did chess. It was funny. We were slacking off at the end of the at the end of the workout because um, that's when the the Lakers and the Warriors were playing and people were just gathering and watching. It's really funny. A few guys uh, was cheering for the, the Lakers. I'm a Le LeBron fan, so I appreciate the cheer. And I'm glad that I'm happy that the, the Lakers are, are up 3-1, but it's not over yet, so, you know, anything could happen, so, um, let's not celebrate yet, and, uh, yeah, let's just close it out and move on to the next one. Got home on Monday, what did I do? This is why I should do this reflection video every day, because I forgot what I do that day. Um, this is Tuesday. I had a job interview at 10.30. It went alright. Um, the position was not what I expected to be. The guy who was interviewing me, he recommended to me another position that would be more fitting to my schedule as well as my, um, my needs and my goals. Yeah, so he gave my resume to the you know the manager of that department and um yeah we'll see we'll see how it goes yeah so like there's a couple thrift store around my my, uh, my area that was so freaking good back then five to six years ago that's when i started drifting it's all started by paul Cantu. okay like nobody was there okay not nobody but there was not a lot of people drifting in these two locations and you know i was finding gems for cheap and it was crazy, it was good times until, you know, those vintage look, the vintage things be come back to life, come back to a trend and then every, every drift bros, drift girls and grandpa, grandmas and whatever, just, they just all flood in all these two stores and the prices went off the roof and then you can't find anything, you know, I mean, you can't find it's rare to find good pieces for yourself sometimes because people just you know people just buy it to sell so there's not a lot of things for regular people just to buy it to, for themselves it was just crazy because i just remember you know five six years ago when i started go thrifting i was finding all these things for the low and then like now a jacket like because sometimes i have like a, a north face jacket like for example they had a no face jacket and they'd be pricing at $300. It's like, bro, $300 for a jacket at a thrift store? That's crazy. And it's not like anything special, you know? Like one time they have a five no face jacket. If you buy it retail, it's probably like 500 something, but then this is, and it was pretty old. You know, it's old too. So they priced for 300, like, bro, no. So that was crazy. Yeah, I miss, I miss those old times drifting by myself because I was drifting before it was cool bro so that's me now I'm just you know just casual I'd rather go to more of a vintage store because it's more curated and it's, it's a little bit easier even though it's more expensive but you know it's worth your time that yeah, you have a better chance of finding things you like yeah so I went drifting and then after that I went to my girlfriend's sister 
so foggy. So hot. I was not expected to be that hot. I was wearing a jacket and I brought an extra jacket just in case it get cold and it was not cold because I was going to make a video like oh different type of parents as the kids game and yeah I was I wanted to go like go all out acting you know try to be like the actual people like what they do and stuff but yeah I didn't want to anyway so after that we went back back home we went to five wings oh my god I am so full from that I feel so bad you guys ever just eat so much that you feel disgusting <laughs> like i ate so much and i just feel nasty especially when you're cutting too when you're cutting and then you have a you know a cheat day and you just eat all this like fried food wings and fries and all that stuff bro i feel nasty right now the dangerous part is when you get home you you craving for snacks and that's why i got i got some snacks because we were watching final destination yeah i feel nasty i feel bloated and it's atrocious bro you know breaking your diet is hard or just breaking the pattern you know is hard in general because like you 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 spend a lot of time trying to you know get into this pattern and you know it's super easy to break it and then when you break it it's take time to go back into that pattern again you know some of us take longer than usual and we don't achieve our goals because we backtrack ourselves to slow down our progress towards our goal so you know like i say it all comes down to to discipline and consistency yes and make sure that when when you break that pattern try not to go too far because it's gonna be super difficult to get back on it because the longer and the slower you delay it, the longer and the slower you achieve your goals because you break that pattern. So super tired, super sleepy, but you know I recorded a video on my phone. So I made that video at like 1:30, and I was cont contemplating to delete that video, <laughs> so I don't have to do it. So I don't have to do this video right now, but it's all good. Sometimes you just need a little push and that was a push I needed to get this done because if I don't get this done right now I'm probably gonna do it tomorrow night. If I don't do it tomorrow night, I'm gonna do it next night and then I break my pattern and I break my consistency and Like I said, it's gonna be hard for me to get back on it. So these days I've been feeling pretty tired uh, not just you know staying up late to edit th these videos but just my allergies in general and uh, yeah, so just want to stay making these videos um uh, I've been slacking out on my studying though, for real. Yeah, I've been busy too, honestly. I haven't had like time to just, you know, just to study. Maybe I just need to manage my time better. Cause I kind of spend a lot of time on, you know, just vlogging and editing videos. Editing videos take a long ass time, bro. Man, I don't know. Well, maybe these, these famous YouTubers have an editor, but these videos take so long to, to make, you know, just, and it's just like easy cutting and putting audio together and choosing the clips. Yeah, imagine if I add like effects and all that cool stuff in there. Woo. Respect to those people, man. The ones that do it so fast, props. Props to all of you guys. All of you editors out there, even photographers, you know, just, Anybody that work hard, I you know, just respect to you. Uh, a round of applause to those hard workers. Um, you know, keep working, and uh, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna achieve your goals. And if you ever feel like giving up, just look for people like me who are looking up to you, and that should you know that should motivate you too. Keep working hard and achieve your goals because you know I want to be like you someday. So maybe you can be my role model, and you know by being a, by being forced to be a role model, you can work harder and become a role model, a good role model for me or for everybody who's look up to you. So yeah, uh, thank you. Uh, yeah, I think that's all. <laughs> It's all happy tonight and I'm probably gonna go to sleep and look at all these you know in the morning or something or tomorrow and yeah I'll just keep working keep grinding but you know who knows life can take you anywhere a lot of unexpected turns yeah just uh, 
you know, just like, just whatever, man. Live in the moment, right? All right, good night, guys. Or goodbye, guys.